Well, go on the YouTube family. Yeah, man. Now me, man, Mr. B. And boy, I be a things. Things like dirt are going on the yard. Road traffic act, new road traffic act launched three days ago. And I be a things because people are, are raised hell. Enough man now, no license. You know, based on all them indisciplined upon the road. I mean, I will tell you st straight up that, you know, I, mean, I have nothing against the road traffic act in principle. But there are some elements of it that require some rollback. Um, we see where gunman them up on the rampage, same way, lick where this young, up and coming, promising architect, lick him where, you know, and why be a things then the government send troops gone down a haiti if you go help deal with crime and violence when we need troops down a yard and you know if it never so stupid and at the same time serious it would be funny but first thing road traffic act from from 1999 the different political administration of jamaica I try to deal with this road traffic thing because from them time that easy three four hundred people are dead a year time due to traffic accident and you know it it does take almost what 22 23 years and we basically still not really then away yet because you know my opinion most of them on them were seem to be studying so them claim studying and putting these road traffic regulations together you know, think them ever take a taxi yet. Them ever take a minibus. I mean, I think them ever go out a country where people not have no, you know, have no big J-U-T-C bus that run out a country and people have to depend on anything where them can find for move up and down. Essentially, the Road Traffic Act is another signal of how after 60 years of independence, we basically have continued to fail. We fail, you know. We 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 are on a bus service, and we understand that moving people is an investment every country have to make. The public transport no make money in a no other country in the world. Granted, it no make no money in Jamaica neither. But most of the money we lose a thief them thief the money between the politician them and them friend them for them set up so bottom line is we don't have no serious public transport um program you know and and as a result that impact the bad driving then on top of that most of the man them will drive taxi down a yard can barely read or write for go through them gate but them have license them not understand road speed. Them not understand how oh, you can't overtake when car are coming in front of you. And just all kind of madness. Me personally believe that the man them who are right, them road traffic regulation, yeah? them out of touch with the reality of the Jamaican existence. And so, them are right some things where I benefit them like a St. Andrew, uptown, upbringing, but them not really do not fail poor people because poor people still at the mercy of the criminal and thief and yaga yaga them. We claim to them a taxi cab driver, rapist, murderer, gunman and everything. We claim to them a drive taxi. But on a serious note, you know, the aspect of the thing that I think was really ridiculous is the, the restraint that them claim say you have to put seat belt in the car them so that the youth the young picnic them you have to wear seat belt and all of that you have to tell people them literally I take it you know jamaica people are taking literally you know so them picnic must carry a child seat when they are going at the car so them people are run up and down a road for try to find car, car um, child seat for putting a car most of them don't even uh, can barely find a night dinner you know and so it was demonstrate the ridiculousness of this aspect of the program and you know mr andrew wellness for the first time and i'm in you know I'm put on in big boy choices and him i try to make it look a little weird but him him claim say i'm gonna back off of the, the the restraint thing the bottom line is how you ever enforce a, po a policy like that because you already hear that thief in murderous criminal taxi man them do them start left to pick them on my road 
left them a road. So pick me car and go to school car them no taxi man uh, pick them up because you know some of them them parents are give them car seat for car going I <laughs> car and the taxi man them they know that. Because they need to have eight or nine people in the car at a time so they can make a, a, a significant hustling. And a, a, that are the problem in a Jamaica. The place is just a hustling. The way how we govern from the PNP to the JLP, we, we literally take a hustler's mentality. And at the bottom line is when you open your door for hustler, you open your door to indiscipline. And a big part of the problem with the road traffic fatalities is just indiscipline. Indiscipline that from in the womb, not for them man they were a taxi man. The one they may load the taxi. From in the womb, them indiscipline. And them come a road, can barely read or write, go to school, go on bench, and then them come out a road and I drive car and about them a public passenger thing. And then they the 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 nicky nicky political system we have, them, them now claim them have said Caliban for the motorist man, them are run as taxi man. And then you have man who end up with a 100, 285 ticket one man say accumulate over the last 20 years. You know, them thing they just ridiculous. So we need to go back to the drawing board. We need to talk about educating the population. We need to sensitize people. We need to teach proper decorum and behavior and we have to start and force that in our school system over time it filter out upon the man them right upon the road and then we have to make a bigger investment you know we have all the money where politician and him friend them are thief and them are make them are buy big boat and plane and maserati and you know, posh and all, every kind of car where you can't even find in America where me live. You can't find in Jamaica. And there's a handful of people of all of them kind of thing there. Two men and a dog because the political systems we have. And this administration uh, takes a kick when it comes to that. So we need to go fix that. For another note, the murdering continue. And what we are doing is we a liquid the most promising people. It won't look like so don't I had if if you're promising, if you have any ambition, not show it. Because if man jealous I you know, a, a, a simple thing that I had for a man just organize and pay a little man a money for brush you away. You know? Interestingly after them take the life of this young upcoming promising architect just in their early forties with him like a family and I make him name. And the man them brush him. Eh. Now we don't know what a clock a strike, but you know, dog newspaper have it say uh, some jealousy business. Him look like he might eat enough man food in you know, the architect business and thing. And man just believes him I get too much work and them just brush him. Me just a gear, dog newspaper say so. You know. But be that as it may, what struck me is that Mr. Bailey, who is a assistant commissioner, deputy commissioner, whatever I'm, whatever I'm rank is. I'm in charge of crime in, a, in a Jamaica. And the theme thing is why the man they put on a shooting they can't shoot. The man they look like they might get all for practice. And then again, dog newspaper have it. That a two little man on a bike. One was a pillion who come off of the bike and, and shoot the man. So people see. You know, the question when Mr. Bailey, when you ask Mr. Bailey, why well, never just use him media platform and make them think they are big up the gunman them because basically when I talk about say the man them can't shoot a big yeah big up the man them and all the one well, you know some in you know, a Jamaica we are so so idiot we have you know gunman them a idiot them a hear that they big up now and say oh you see all the you know see all the soup the big commissioner a big up the shatter so you know we have to go make some more dopey and so Jamaica people think we have to understand that you know, so, Mr. Bailey, watch your speech. Catch up on your speech, you know. Sometimes, I know every time everything comes out of your mouth, you want to say, watch your speech. Because you are sending the wrong message to murder and gunman. If you're serious about this crime thing, we have to take a different approach. You have to, you know, use your office and encourage people to provide information for the police, the people who see, people who have camera. 
and thing. You know, because from what we understand, and I brought daylight, like this thing take place. You know, but on another note, Jamaica send soldier and police go to Haiti. Haiti, Haiti don't really have the kind of criminal problem where they make it out in it. Haiti have a political problem, right? Jamaica have a criminal problem. Jamaica last year, we killed what? 52 people per every 100,000 Jamaicans last year. We killed 1,500 Jamaicans were murdered last year, right? In a population of less than 3 million. You know how much people per 1,000 dead are Haiti through criminal violence? Less than 10, right? 9.8, call it 10 per 100,000. And we pick up ourselves because we want distract the population from all of the efforts we are going on in the yard and the government all oh, them are send soldier and police go to Haiti. Figure the what? We need every soldier and police. All the one them on holiday and have to go for retire. They want to draw them in back. Fail to deal with the crime problem at Jamaica. We don't have enough people for do that. Plus we don't have money. And it doesn't matter if America are giving the money for send soldier go there. We need to take the money and deal with the security problem we have at Jamaica. A brand new year. Brand new year. We need brand new approaches and this kind of cock and bull foolishness where we are a, a pose and a ray ray and a try to distract. That way we deal with it. And the last thing we all left with it, how come nobody not get locked up? Nobody not get arrested yet for the nearly four or five billion dollars with them teeth up at SNL. Is it a case where too much a brown skin man they may involve? I want a friend in a government and the politics and then I want to lock them up. We have it all of a sudden now I want little the teeth in the man responsible for all of the teeth in there. So all of the three, four billion we're missing. We have to go look for she now and our ginger ration them because it's called into dog newspaper and we are going to go a she. So all of them brown kid man they will come here, everybody have five and ten million dollar yacht park up all about, dock up in a f Miami and Port of Miami and in a the Bahamas. Nobody now will look for them. Nobody now will investigate them assets. And some of the bank of them were, were, were you know, accommodate the fraud. What to the investigation? We we make big announcement. We are sent um, FBI. We are sent for FBI. For do what? For just pause. Let me hear on a think. You know, let me hear on a think about this thing. The way all me think about it. Them them issue uh, require some discussion. You know, and let me see some feedback in the comment section there and if you like the video as usual just hit the like button you know and share you know but more importantly if you're not subscribed to the channel yet it's a good time for subscribe to the channel yeah man and me mr b more time